thank you very much for tuning in today on the IK Amadi Show. This is once again IK Amadi, and with me in the studio today is Pastor Nathan Mapumber. We call him Pastor Maps. Welcome to the studio, Pastor Maps. Thank you. Thank you. Good to meet you. Our yes. viewers, listeners, um, my producer told me about Pastor Maps. He says, I, you, you have to get him on the IK Amadi Show. <laughs> and we did everything possible to have a 30 minute session with him. I'm sure as you listen today, please feel free sending your questions. We are on. Plus seven nine two six, plus seven nine two six four nine three zero four six three, and we'll take your questions. You can write on Facebook the Ike Amadi Show, and we will read aloud your questions and get Pastor Maps to answer the questions. Thank you very much, Pastor. Thank you. Thank you. So, what's your what's your view of Masco? Did you like? Have you do you like the experience so far? Yes, I do. Uh, as I uh, have said before. It's my first time to see snow. Okay. Uh, otherwise, I was just seeing it in the deep freezers of Southern Hemisphere. It's it's a it's an experience to me. Great experience. Wow. I'm so happy. Great. Thank you here this time. And you know, you thank you once again for joining us in the show today. Thank uh, you. Pastor, please tell us a little bit about yourself, what you do, and what you're into, so that our people can know who you are as much as much as we in the studio know you. I'll start with the. Uh, uh, when I was born again, I was born again in 1985, February. And I'm starting with being born again because I think that is the greatest thing that a, 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 a person can have. Um, I'm a banker by profession. Wow, a banker? Yes, I'm a banker by profession. I'm retired now. Um, I've been in the banking world for in Zimbabwe, 18 years. In Botswana, 20 years. So total of 33 years in banking. Um, I retired 2013. Wow. August 2013. And now I'm just concentrating on our small business, myself and my wife, which is situated in the city of Francis Town in Botswana. Francis Town Botswana. Francis Town, yes, correct, yes, yes. We sell stationery, uh, books, we, Bibles, script, uh, spiritual books, Joyce Miles, Benny's, we have them. And uh, it's keeping us going. Uh, we are happy. Um, I'm married to my wife Sheila. We have uh, three children. Wow, three yes. children. Two, yes, two daughters, one son. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Directly, mm -hmm. I have two daughters and uh, uh, my grandson is the third one. Wow, lovely. yes, yes. Lovely. yes. Lovely. Congratulations, right. Pastor. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Congratulations. Yes. And, and you came into Moscow to see one of your daughters, if, if, if I understand correctly. Yes. Yes, she's uh, second year, a medical student at People's Friendship University. Um, I decided to come just to be with her for a while, uh, particularly at the time she was doing examinations and all that. Wow, wow. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Support, right? Just moral support, yes, yes, moral support, yes, thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank, thank you very much. You. Well, our listeners, you're on to the IK Madi Show. And tonight, today we have on the show Mr. Nathan Mapombera, Mr. Maps, we call him Pastor yes. Maps, yes. who is originally Zimbabwean but lives and works in Botswana, Francis yes. Town, Correct. to Correct. be precise. Correct, well, yes. We have a question from Kwesi Daniels. Kwesi Daniels is from Moscow. And Kwesi says, are you successful? When or at what point did you consider yourself a success? My success is not dependent on business. My success is dependent on God. Hallelujah. So, the Bible says, Matthew 6, verse 33, mm -hmm. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things shall be added unto you. That's why I'm saying that when I was uh, born again, I began to see success in my life 
in the sense that uh, I began to be promoted in the bank. So much, so much being promoted. So if you want to be successful, it's not the greatest business idea you have, but it is the great God you are going to have. And you see that everything will work and you'll be reckoned amongst the successful people of the world. So I am successful. Very, very successful. I'm because excited. Of, because of my God. <laughs> <laughs> well, we see you have your day answer. He is successful. And that is because of his God. Recorded many promotions. Yeah, Toby in the same light had a similar question. Yes. And he said, what is the main key to being successful? How important is timing in achieving success? To be successful, first and foremost, God. Honesty. With God comes integrity. With God comes uprightness. With God comes holiness. With God comes righteousness. With God comes love for the people. With God comes a, a generosity a, a, and all that. These are the building blocks of my life. And it is practical, very practical. I'm not speaking theory, I'm speaking practice. And it relates to my life big time, big time. Thank you, thank you, Pastor. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Well, Toby Olade, there you have it. Now, someone else, well, I know you have tried to answer that already. Chukudi Amadi, all the way from Abuja, Nigeria, he says, how did you get to this level? Were there significant milestones you crossed or you, you, you crossed to get to this level? Yes, they're there. The time you get born again, sometimes you will think that everybody who comes to church is uh, honest, is uh, serving God the way God wants to be served. And I learned that the hard way. Because when I got in with genuine pursuit of God, God disappointed so much. So on the slopes of the mountain of success, before you reach the plateau up there, there are disappointments that you are going to meet. But with those disappointments, never look back. Never look back. Never look back. Just press on. Press on. The climb may be difficult. The climb may be harsh and hard. But you press on. You will be there. Because it's not your strength. It's not your power. But it is the power of God. Like the Bible says that uh, I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. That is Philippians 4. Let's stay tuned. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. yes. Thank you very yes. much. Thank the you. challenges will be there. Yes. But you got to keep pressing on and you get to the place you of your success. Well, once again, this is the IK Maddie Show. And today we have a special DS Mentor Edition, which is the Do Something Mentor Edition, where we get to hear the stories of real successful men and learn from their experience. Once again, feel free to send your questions just right on. The Ike Amadi Show on Facebook or send us, write us on WhatsApp on the show. We'll take a little break, a little commercial break, where we'll take a message from our sponsors, Christian House Chapel. Thank you very much for tuning into the Ike Amadi Show. And we'll continue in the minute. Thank you. Jesus, the crucified, took my place. Now I can have eternal life. Light, light of the world, I praise your name, highly lifted up, redemption song is what to say.
Well, welcome back. Thank you very much. You're tuned in once again to the IKEA Madi Show, and this is your boy IKEA Madi. With me in the studio is Mr. Nathan Mapumbere, or what we call him, Pastor Maps. Thank you once again for joining us today, Pastor Maps. Thank you, my brother. Thank you. you we have we you have established the fact that God is the most important factor for a young man to become successful. But what else would you advise young people? Because I really desire super success in my generation. The one thing God told me about success, and uh, at one stage in my youth, I couldn't believe him, was to respect your parents, if they are still alive, or elders, any, anybody uh, who, is, uh, who can stand for a parent. You've got to respect them. The reason is that uh, many people miss the, the promise that is in the Bible in Exodus chapter 20, which says, honor your father and your mother so that your days may be long. This is true. And uh, what I have discovered with that is that uh, <clears throat> the days that are going to be long for, for you are not just necessarily days. But uh, your business, your profits in the business are going to be long. They're going to be big. Everything that you are going to touch will turn into gold because you are obeying a divine commandment from God. And God has already said through Jesus, his son, that I will be with you always so i have honored my parents i know i know that i've honored them to the extent that my father who had not who didn't have so much money he looked at all of us we were we were we are seven children and he chose me to give signing powers on his small account mm -hmm. And I asked him, and I said, why are you giving me signing powers? Why don't you give to my older brother, to my younger sister? And he said, I have a ability to choose whom I want to give those signing powers. And, and it was so true. And I, when I look back, I know that I have honored my, 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 my father. I have honored my mother. And the, if you want to succeed and uh, make sure that your father is happy make sure that your mother is happy with you not because you are giving her money not because you are giving her buying her groceries the truth i know is that your parents don't need your money they don't need the grocery they need you they need you so you go to visit them. You go to, to show them that great love. Uh, the second thing concerning success is uh, is that uh, you need to be generous. The Bible has told us in uh, way Matthew twenty five. Matthew twenty five. It tells us to say that uh, when I was sick you visited me when i was naked you gave me clothes when i was hungry you fed me you know so that those scriptures there they are telling us to be compassionate so compassionate even jesus says says it also the the, the feeding of the five thousand people he said that i'm not going to allow these people to go home to go home to go hungry because they're going to faint. So, is there anything here? The people said, almost they said, no, there's nothing except these ones. And the, Jesus said, bring them because I must feed the people. I must feed them. And he showed compassion and the people were fed and they went home hungry, hungry no more. Remembering what Jesus said, Jesus had done. Remembering 
what Jesus has done. And I want to emphasize that, remembering what Jesus has done. Mm. So even those uh, orphans, even those little children, boys and girls, when, they, when you leave them, when you go away, they will remember that which you have done. One thing God told me is that uh, the more prayer, the more prayers, the more intercession from these little ones that go up to heaven concerning you, the better you will be on earth because God listens. I remember in the book of Matthew, Mark at the end, Jesus Christ says, eh, Forbid not the little children, let them come to me because to such belong. Kingdom. The kingdom of, of heaven. Now, if Jesus said so, what is he saying is, if this little little, little one pray, uh, he, he is going to answer the little ones without without any question. The little ones. So, as for me, uh, my daughter sitting there will tell you, I have uh, built up a, a, a lot of children. I have fed them. I have sent them to school. I have done that with my wife. We have, we have done that. And I know that uh, the day maybe I forget to pray. Mm. I will pray through them because they are going to pray. Mm. The day I forget to read the Bible, they are going to pray. And God is going to remember me daily. Amen. Amen. Daily. Daily, daily, daily. daily. <laughs> well, young man, you got the secret from Mr. Nathan Mpombere. <laughs> all the way from yes. Botswana. And he's with us in the studio today. And we also have, of course, shout out to Nazarene. Yay. <laughs> Say something, Nazarene. Great people listening. <laughs> yeah. So because of Nazarene, we are opportuned to have... Pastor Maps in Moscow visiting us and we have had the unique opportunity to also invite him to the IK Man Show. Well, young man, you have heard the first thing is have God in your life. Number two, honor your parents. Number three, be generous. And of course, number four is have compassion, like he said, for especially the little one. But Pastor, there's a little question, you know. Yes. Some of us struggle. We don't have a very cordial relationship with our parents. Yes. Due to several reasons. For some, their mother wanted them to marry a certain woman which you know maybe they weren't really um in love with so to say yes. or yes. wants them to marry from a certain tribe or from a certain mm -hmm. country what do you have what advice do you have for these people if your parents say oh we want you to marry from for example nigeria mm -hmm. but your heart is in let's say zimbabwe you know mm -hmm. or, or great britain what do you do what do you do how do you sort this out pastor when your parents say such uh deep things concerning mm. your future they are doing it they are saying it out of the depth of their hearts out of out of love towards their daughter towards their son so it has to be respected but on the other hand you are also an individual that has got individual thoughts and individual rights so you have to be a person who has the spiritual stamina physical stamina mental backbone to be able to make your own decisions because one day your mother shall go true very soon she will go and then you are left with a, a woman or a man whom you never loved so when it comes to marriage the most important people in the marriage are the two who are going to get married the two who are going to get married because those two according to Mark chapter 10 the Bible says that the two it shall become one, one yes. flesh. Yes, yes. Flesh. But if you are going to marry somebody because of other people who are talking, notwithstanding the fact that it is your mother, you, you have to make a decision. You have to talk to your mother. 
and try or father or auntie or whoever is uh, recommended so that you come to a an agreement a compromise yes yes, yes. you must marry the person that you love divinely love. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that's my my answer to that so for young yes. people i know you're like young people are excited with the answers mm-hmm. they have permission now to marry the person <laughs> they love <laughs> Forget it is here on today. I can manage and want to thank, of course, our sponsors, Christian House Chapel, for their generous support. Pastor Apostola Alabo of the Ghana, Ghana Embassy, how he has generously supported this project to continue bringing us great men and women to the studio. Once again, it's I can manage. You're with Pastor Nathan Mapombere in the studio. Well, Pastor, thank you so much for doing justice to those questions. Um, we have a question from Kemi Ayorinde mm-hmm. from Nigeria, mm-hmm. and she says, "How do you manage a biz- business situation where the processing channel is only through bribery? A lot of corruption in the land." Yes, yes, that that, that is a the world is corrupt, very very corrupt. But the world is becoming so corrupt because those who should not be corrupt are becoming corrupt. So we should actually remember who we are in Christ Jesus, ourselves in Christ Jesus. Something that is divine may not start with a a multitude of people. Something that is divine may be given to the Isaiahs of this world, to Jonas of this world, to Pauls, to Peters of this world. And the, you and I are those people whom God has chosen to reverse the wicked trend of this global village, which is called the world, so that this corruption is going to be... First, what will happen is it will be stagnated amen then it sh- because of those few people it shall begin to decrease as righteousness in a crisis because of the power power of god the question is what does god want god wants righteousness to prevail righteousness to prevail everywhere in, in, in everywhere in business every time he wants righteousness to prevail and if we support God in his uh, holy decrees about what uh, his will is for this world we are going to win Amen. because we are more than overcomers we are more than conquerors and if God be for us who can be against us Amen. they can be as corrupt as they can but we are bound to win the battle. Amen. So stay righteous wherever you are, do the yes. right thing, support God's agenda, and yes. He will see you succeed. Once again, this is the IK Mardi Show on Christian House Radio, only on CHC Radio. And one more question from Lady Cash. She says, how have you merged leading the Christian life in a world that is mostly devoid of Christ? And secondly, almost related question we have from Toby. And he says, how did you maintain your spiritual fervor while pursuing your business? Being a Christian uh, is not a duty. I can't, I can't, I can't. It is not a duty. It is a... Uh, a way of life being a Christian being a believer following Christ Jesus must flow within your veins it has to be and when that happens when that takes place there is peace that envelops you there is the glory of God will be with you 
So no matter where you are, no matter what you are doing, as long as you remember your position in Christ Jesus, that lifestyle of obedience to God and the lifestyle of serving Christ in spirit and in truth, studying your Bible, there is a scripture that I love most. Jesus Christ said that the one who sent me is with me. Amen. The Father will not leave me alone because I do always the things that please him. I'm sure that's John 8 verse 29. Who gives you the strength to do everything that God loves you? Loves? It is, it is Christ. So if you cut your relationship from Jesus Christ, are you going to be able to? The answer is no. No way, no way. But if you build every bridge, every road that goes to Jesus Christ, you are going to be able to. So even, even in business, I, I don't even, as I say, primarily, I'm not a, a business person. Primarily, I am a believer. Hallelujah. And with that conviction in me, uh, everything that I will touch, even if it is uh, 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 silver, it will turn to gold in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. It, it, it will succeed. Amen. Even coming to Moscow like this, it's not like I had a lot of money. I don't have. Even when I was sitting there today, I was even surprised. I am here. What happened? <laughs> How did I pay for the ticket and all that? But it is because of God. Amen. Even as I go back, I'm thinking, how am I going to mix that? How am I going to do this? But I have not worried. I'm going to take everything oh, yeah. and put it into the hands of God. Amen. And the success that, I'm go that I had yesterday uh, uh, will be less than the success I'm going to have today. And the success I'll have tomorrow will be greater than the success of today. Amen. On and on like that because of God. So, pastoring is not a, is not a duty for me. Pastoring is a, a, a way of life. A way of life. And a way of life must carry on as a way of life. Because if you, if I say, if I stop pastoring, I die. Because my way of life has been defeated so i must carry on whether it is business i must carry on but what sustains me most what sustains me is the living god amen thank hallelujah you. yes thank you very much pastor maps thank you for all the tips and advice we'll take a little break now yes. and we should take a word from christian house chapel our sponsors and once again you're on the ike Mighty show yes Moscow, Russia. Welcome back to the I Get Mighty Show 
on CHC Radio, only on CHC Radio. And today we have in the studio not just Pastor Nathan McCombert, who flew all the way from Botswana to join us in the studio today. We also have Tari. Give a shout out, Tari, once again. Yay! <laughs> and of course, Nazarene and, you know, our, our producer, Mike24, and the director, Michael24, CEO, America Photographer. We have an exciting team in the studio today. And this is your boy, E.K. Amadi. Well, back to what we're talking about, Pastor. How does a young man discover his purpose? Are there brief key points on how somebody who's not sure what to do, what, how can he know this is where God is leading me? Many people lose their purpose. Not just the young, even mm -hmm. the old. Mm -hmm. Many people use, lose their purpose because in most cases they will be uh, pursuing what must not be pursued that particular time. What must be pursued by a young man, by adults and, 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 and everybody in, in life, we have to pursue God. It's, it's, a, it's, it's a not accidental that I am always talking about God. That's right. Because God is the, the source of light, of enlightenment of knowledge, of wisdom, that's, that, 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 is, that is God. Even if you look at Solomon himself, that wisdom, he didn't get from a, a university in Jerusalem. No, no, no. He didn't. He got that wisdom from God. There is a night that he spoke to God and God gave it to him. So we also, our purposes must always be under the divine guidance and divine counseling by the living God. If we leave God, then surely our purposes also are going to be emaciated and they are going to dry up and we are going to be purposeless, purposeless. In, the, in, this, in this world, very purposeless. And a purposeless person is a dangerous person, Ooh. very dangerous. Ooh. We need the purpose from God mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and he has got so many purposes. You remember the Bible tells us of the fivefold ministry. Mm -hmm. So there's the apostle, there's the prophet, the evangelist, the pastor, and the teacher. Those are purposes. But when you look at those uh, purposes that I've just mentioned from Ephesians chapter 4, you will find that they, they, it may be five roads, five passages that temper in front in front there join together at the glory at the throne of god Amen. so they, they, everything is leading to god that's right so your purpose my purpose his purpose their purpose must come a, a, to the throne of god so i believe um purposes change as well once you fulfill this purpose god has got another one Amen. Until he calls us. Amen. Until we're doing to, something. We, there must be something that we must do. Yeah, keep doing in something. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. By the way, by the way, go get Ikea Madis do something. We have go get my book, do something. Have you read the book? <laughs> Fresh! Hurry! Go to ikeamadi.org I K E A M A D I dot O R G and get a copy of my book, do something. I came out of the show and Pastor Nathan. Yes. Please tell us something about working in a team. Teamwork. Teamwork is not very easy. Different people, different styles, yes. different passions. How are you able as a pastor to uh, combine this this and uh, use them for the glory of God? Psalms 23 says, The Lord is my shepherd. Amen. My question is: how is that Lord shepherding us? How is he managing to do all these great things. If we emulate him, if we imitate him in, 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 in our uh, uh, partnering with the, the people here on earth, if we do what Jesus Christ did, and remember, he even said to us in John 14, verse 12, he said that because I'm going to be Father, greater things than this shall you do. Oh, yes. So Jesus is oiling us, he's lubricating me and you. 
so that we can do great things Amen. on this earth. Hallelujah. Great things include great leadership. Hmm. And great leadership is, uh, Jesus Christ says in John chapter 10, he says that nobody took my life. Nobody shall take it. I'm going to lay it down myself. So leadership by example, it's, it's one aspect that is missing in this world. People are not leading by example. What they say, don't, that's what they do. And the, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. It says he leads me. Amen. So if I must lead, I must lead by a show, a display of example. Leadership by example. Example. Well, clever from Kurus, there is your answer. Leadership by example is the secret to team leadership. Thank you so much, Pastor Nathan. Thank you. And of course, for those who are writing, we have some special quotes from um, from Pastor Maps, and I'll just say them so you can just note them down. I believe they'll be very useful for you in future. One of it is, the more prayers people send to God about you, the better for you spiritually, physically, and mentally speaking. And of course, a purposeless person is a dangerous person. So run away from a man or a woman who is without purpose in this life of course and finally on leadership he says jesus is lubricating us to do great things for him including great leadership this is Amen. the iki amadi show and welcome Amen. now finally pastor we, we we hope we could have you for two three hours but you know <laughs> uh, our producers are giving me signal that boy you know round up so finally i understand that you are writing a book you yes yes please tell us a little bit about your i'm excited already to to get to know everything about it I'm also very excited about that book, and uh, I have always, always wanted to write something. The uh, topic of the book is the supernatural encounters. It basically describes my journey as a believer. It basically describes uh, how I was born again, what happened before I was born, what happened when I was what did i experience in the church what, how did i relate with the uh, the board the church members and and all that because my book will be out maybe in four months great. five months time great, great. and uh, i'm looking forward to uh help uh, the youth the adults as they read that book to find god I, I, I don't want them to find anything else ridiculous about the people. I want them to find the divine and the, the divine nature of the living God. Thank you. Thank you so yes. much, Pastor Nathan yes. Mapomber, for joining us today on the IKEA Madi Show. It's Thank been you. an exciting time. It's been an exciting time, really. I've learned a lot, took much notes, and I hope that a lot of people are already blessed. Well, of course, before we, before we call it a day on the show tonight, we want Pastor to bless everyone who's tuned in to listen. Pastor, please. Heavenly Father, in your wisdom, in your might, I pray this day that you bless everybody who is hearing. Amen. Everybody, mighty Father, who has harvested some divine advice from this program from this talk mighty god i pray that as they talk about these things mighty father as they meditate about these things mighty god i ask you my god to expand their borders Amen. expand mighty god whatsoever you are putting into their hearts this day mighty god i pray that lord the youth of today mighty god the adults of today the whole world mighty father i pray that it comes to Jesus Christ because you said oh God that and I if I be lifted up from the earth I will draw all men unto me Amen. and father we know Calvary has taken place and this day mighty God I pray that as many people as you are calling mighty God today let them receive salvation mighty Amen. God Amen. let them receive that anointing mighty God at salvation to walk in the righteousness of God. Amen. Each one of them, each one of them, mighty God, I pray, mighty God, for the 
mature believers, mighty God, that they will remain mature, but they will not sit down on the plateau of maturity. They will climb another mountain. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. they will worship you. They will worship you, mighty Amen. God, until they are able to worship you no longer, because, Lord, you are God. Almighty and bless, mighty God, even the presenters of this program. Hallelujah. Bless, mighty God, beyond measure. Amen. Bless, totally, mighty God. Yes, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, viewers, for tuning in. Our listeners for tuning in today on the IK Man Show. I want to thank my, my team. I want to thank everybody who is with me in the studio. Amen. And we hope that next week's Saturday, 8 p.m., Master Time GMT Plus 3. Join us for an exciting edition of the Ike Marsh. This is Ike Marsh. Last line.